Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question that was asked in the chat room here. It's going to be sponsored by GoDaddy.com. You can save 10% on your next GoDaddy.com domain name registration by using the coupon code CHRIS when you check out. And the question was pretty simple. Have you seen any good movies lately? I have. I absolutely have seen a handful of good movies that I'm going to recommend uh, to everybody right now that has something to do with technology, although not in a way that you would expect it. And by the way, if you're in the chat room right now, feel free to type in uh, you know, what movie you've seen lately that you've appreciated. And even if you're watching this video, feel free to throw a comment into the thread. The three movies that I had seen uh, on Netflix, watch instantly. And by the way, yes, I have a Netflix coupon. If you'd like to save money on your Netflix subscription, email me, chris at perillo.com. I'll, I'll send you a link to that where you can save money. I like saving people money. Uh, three movies. Food Incorporated, or Food INC, Killer at Large, and King Corn. These three movies have to do with technology. But as I said, not in the way that you'd expect them to. Uh, corn production has skyrocketed in recent years, directly proportional to the amount of obesity rates we've seen specifically in this country. Corn is the heaviest subsidized crop in America. And as corn production started to go up, as we started to use more and more corn in our food supply, whether we were feeding cattle, chicken, hogs, or putting corn directly into our food, the amount of obese people also started to rise. There's a direct correlation between the two. And you know, you want to know why you think that's a conspiracy theory? Ask a farmer how to get cattle or hogs to market quicker. You got to get them fat. How do farmers get their livestock plump? Any ideas? They feed them corn. When you eat food or food product, it's most likely corn. I mean, especially if it's off the shelf at a grocery store and the label reads this long. Heck, even if you buy, uh, let's say, something like bacon, you're still getting corn because that hog likely was fed corn. And so the way that uh, this whole cycle works is that whatever you put into it is going to come out of it, and it's never going to stop. So while the amount of corn that America has been producing and being subsidized by the government uh, has increased, so too has corn in our food supply. Understand, I'm from Iowa. Pretty much the entire state is covered with cornfields or soybeans. I don't have anything personally against corn, personally. But if you really want to... Um, get a better handle on uh, what's happening to society, uh, you best understand what's happening to our food supply. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal because we all have to eat. It's not just about avoiding junk food anymore either. See, that's the thing. It's not just, oh, I don't go to fast food restaurants. It doesn't matter. Corn's in your food supply. Big time. And let's forget about the inhumane treatment of animals. That's a completely different issue. I, I'm not a fan of that either. I, uh, I'm a meat eater, certainly, not a vegetarian. But I buy organic as much as I can uh, and look for uh, no additives, uh, uh, ethical treatment of animals. You know, I do my research when it comes to food. Not everybody wants to do that. America has become stronger because our food costs less. That's the beauty of subsidies. It costs less. It's cheaper to buy a candy bar than it is to buy a stock of broccoli. You get energy. You get calories. But are those calories worth anything? Now let's forget about trans fats for just a moment. That's another evil I'm not going to go into. High fructose corn syrup. Didn't have a lot of it even a couple decades ago, and then all of a sudden it just started to steadily increase and rise. There is a direct correlation, as made by independent studies, between the amount of high fructose corn syrup in the diet and the rate at which America happens to be catching type 2 diabetes. 
It's not a conspiracy theory. You don't have to believe me. Do your own research, right? Okay? I'm just setting you on the right path with three movies. Admittedly, uh, King Corn was a little slow. It was interesting uh, from a, a documentarian point of view. Very interesting. Educational. Uh, worth watching. Uh, but Killer at Large and especially Food Incorporated uh, are, are two must-watch. Um, I'm not going to say that you know my whole perspective changed after watching these movies because I already knew this stuff. <laughs> I've been avoiding eating uh, corn in my products for a number of years. I've been avoiding high fructose corn syrup. I've been avoiding trans fats. You guys do your own research, man. Wait, you think obesity came out of nowhere? And for you to sit there and say, well, it's because we're not exercising. Well, I'm not going to say that exercise or the lack of exercise doesn't have anything to do with the obesity problem in America. But you're sitting there telling me that you think that the two liter of soda is doing you any favors? Input, output. You're going to gain weight if you take in more calories than you can burn off. That's simple math. It, not a joke. They say diet and exercise. You don't need to diet. Just watch your calorie count. Is it easy? Hell no. Because food is convenient. Didn't used to be that way. You know, when we were you know, going up through the evolutionary chain, food wasn't on every corner. Certainly not meat. So humans with easier access to food product, we can still eat, but what we're eating is destroying us. Absolutely. Food is not about health, and the food industry is definitely not about health. It's about business. We can eat by spending less money, but think about it. Sometimes you get what you pay for. I mean, yes, I, I always, when I'm at the grocery store, look, I'm like, why does this product cost more than this product? Oh, better quality ingredients. You'd say the same thing about a computer. So you're going to pay for it sooner or later. Even if it doesn't cost you a lot right now to eat like a cow, because that's pretty much what you're doing. And I'm not talking, again, just about fast food. Anything anymore has been produced and likely with lower quality ingredients. Most likely with corn. Corn is used to fatten livestock. Do your research. Ask a farmer. Don't even need to go that far. Go to Wikipedia. Do a Google search for it. You'll find the same damn thing. It's how they get them fat. In fact, in fact, a cow will die if it's on a diet of corn for too long. Stomach can't handle it. Literally, it, it, it bleeds. It, it, it ulcers. Can't handle it. But they can do a quick turnaround. They can get them fat, nice and tasty. Corn-fed beef. Not necessarily the best thing for you, despite how great it tastes. And it does taste good. Can't doubt that. But these three movies could very well change the way that you eat. Or how you eat. And I think that's important. I think it's very important. We're using technology to make our lives better, but that same technology is destroying us. You're either going to pay for it up front or you're going to pay for it in the long run. So if you want to be a statistic, overweight, susceptible to uh, type 2 diabetes and beyond, so many questionable things. We, we don't know. This is an experiment. Look at, the obese look at what the CDC ha has uh, you know, released. Look at their charts of obesity over the past couple of decades. You think it's just because we, we stopped exercising? Stop getting out. I'm not going to say it didn't play a part, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with the massive amount of calorie count that we're now taking in as a society in general. And specifically, the amount of corn that's in our diet. But whether it tastes like corn or not, trust me, it's there. Go read your labels.
you're either going to pay for it up front or you're going to pay for it eventually. You have to decide for yourself. Food Incorporated, King Corn, and Killer at Large. Eye-opening movies. To me, they were. You asked for my recommendation. They're all available. Netflix instantly. Absolutely recommend them. Um, I don't know. See, I'm a geek. I like science and food science and, and learning more about what I'm putting into my... I mean, I care about what I put on my computer. You know, I'd like to be around to enjoy it forever or as long as possible, so I care about what I put in my mouth, too. I do. I absolutely care. I care about you, too. That's the reason why I'm sharing this information right now. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Just think about it. I do have coupons for Netflix. Send me an email, chris at perillo.com. If you have feedback, please drop me a line. I'm, those aren't the only kind of movies, obviously, that I'm interested in. Uh, just, uh, you know, recently I had seen them, by the way, while I was working out. I just watch uh, um, on the Xbox 360 uh, using the Netflix conduit, and I use the Gazelle to work out. It's easy to do. It takes an hour a day, 45 minutes or so, and I just watch what I eat. Sometimes it gets away from me, too, but I still watch what I eat. I, I've been very conscious of it as an adult, especially seeing my contemporaries. So there you go. Uh, you can join us in our community, no matter what your belief system is or what you do with your own life. It's not for me to uh, you know interrupt or tell you what you're doing uh, for yourself. Geeks.perillo.com. Then, of course, uh, we also have uh, coupons.lockernome.com where you can uh, save some money on just about anything, whether it's movies all the way down the line. Uh, then we've also got this chat room, and I can only imagine what they were keying in as uh, we were uh, having this one-way discussion. Uh, typically talking tech, though. And sometimes it has to do with health sciences. Science is tech. Tech science kind of go hand in hand. We all have to eat. Right? I'm assuming we all have to eat. You can join us. Streaming live, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right here at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.